So, what's going on you guys? How's it going? I thought I should jump in because it's probably been a little minute since I actually did like a vlog. Excuse my ice cream cone that's like about to slip off. It just, it is what it is. But uh, some things are going on today. Nala, who's down here. Say hey girl. Even though she looks very normal, we have come to find out that she has hand, foot, and mouth. Like, bruh, this is stuff they don't tell you about before having kids. Like, what is hand, foot, and mouth? Like, who got that? Anyway, so we end up taking to her to the doctor the other day to get that confirmed because her daycare told us the other day that they speculate she had it since there was other two other kids in the class that had it i don't even know if they're still in the classroom or not if you don't know much about hand foot and mouth basically it's just some kind of like bad i guess infection that um gives them like bumps or sores in their mouth on their hands on the palms of their hands on the soles of their feet those are kind of like areas that yeah those are areas that um kind of telltale sign that she has it maybe i can show you guys maybe that's better instead of talking about it so hold on come here baby <sighs> yeah oh let go let go so which hand is it on oh. so let's see if you can see that i think it's on this hand you see that it's like a red blurry let's see but do y'all see that right there it's like a bump that's red on her hand and then let's see what foot it's on and then there's one can you see that can you see that it's right there bum those is kind of what uh hand foot and mouth kind of looks like i thought she had something else because of all the rashes and everything that i seen on her back let me show you guys oh it's actually like way better than it was yesterday oh i can't even show y'all what it looked like but it looked really bad like a bad breakout and i thought it was due to something else but Kind of find out it's due to uh, a bad eczema outbreak. But yeah, so now she's not able to go to daycare. For how long? Huh? How long she's not allowed to go to daycare? Until it goes away. Or until she gets a doctor's note that says that she's not contagious anymore. No yeah, so she's probably got to be out for mostly next week. She was out. Was she out Friday? Yeah. Yeah, she was out Friday. And now she's going to be out probably until Wednesday or Thursday, I would assume. She'll probably be back on Friday, which is really disrespectful because we still got to pay the 200 something dollars for that week. There ain't nothing else we can do about it. So we're going to have someone come next week and watch her because I ain't got no time to be taking off work. But in the meantime, I just got a new package a package child i thought i should open it up with you guys but it's this little summer infant cart thingy which i am so excited about because if you look at this it has a pillow support because every time i see a baby in this it always is like you don't see any kind of insert pillow with it and you can attach toys to it maybe i should put it down as you see, the pillow is right behind them positioning so they won't go too far back. And I guess this is to catch uh, or make sure they don't like hold on to anything. I don't know. I don't really know why this is that high. I reckon that it's not going to be that high behind the baby. This might be Photoshop. This right here, if you look closely, is actually where you can put a phone right here for them to watch and little toy attachments. So I am really 
excited about this so i thought i should unbox it in front of you guys because um this will probably be something really helpful when it comes to actually shopping let's go ahead and take it out the box i don't think david's as, as excited about it as me but listen anything different from taking out the stroller is better that's good yeah <laughs> so Let's see how we're going to unbox this. When I bought it on Amazon, it didn't say that it was a summer infant product. I mean, I probably could have found that out, but it really didn't say that. Or not at least in the title. If we like this enough, possibly can help out when it comes to shopping. When it comes to new baby, maybe we can have Nala in this in the stroller. And then I can have a baby carrier. I want to show you guys... The baby carrier I found today for a new baby. I want this baby carrier so bad. And I haven't really heard anything about it either, so. I So, I almost dropped it. This is what it's looking like. It has a little latch right here. All right, so let's unfold this. So, I'm a little confused. Okay. Okay. So, I guess this is the pillow support thingy. And this is meant to, I guess, go behind the little, you know what I'm talking about? The little seat part. So, this has a slight bit of cushion in it not much but it does it is like soft up here and i'm guessing that you just stick this behind her like that and then you wrap this around i'm assuming i guess you gotta kind of fluff this out i can tell this is like cotton inside of this so one thing about that, I kind of wonder if over time it would like um, flatten because of that. I wish it was like a foam or yeah, like a foam. I think that would probably be better, but I don't want to judge it too quickly. Yeah, this is the shape that it's in. So it'll be like this right behind her. And then that's the little foot part. But I guess we'll know better once we actually get inside the store and actually start to use it and actually put it together. I think that's when we'll know how we feel about it. Nala, you think you might like this? You think you might like it? She has no idea what's going on. All right. So. Nala wants this bottle, right? But she think I'm about to feed it. What do y'all do to help get them used to holding their own bottle? Because you eight months now, baby. You need to be holding this bottle. Like, she definitely wants to, but she's also lazy. So, what are some good tips? I need her within the next month be holding this bottle. Cause I'm already still hanging in the back seat and she's starting to get hyper and stuff like that. And she always want the bottom. I just now finally started giving her six ounces. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep giving her six ounces or not, but at the rate she's going, she needs six ounces. So she's very close in upgrading her bottles. Nope, you worry about eating child. You must don't want food. Come on. So yeah, I do look up this on YouTube, but I feel like there's more people telling you what to do versus showing you the progression of how they're getting them to learn to drink, hold their own bottle. So I guess I'm still asking you to do the same thing as far as giving me tips and advice. I don't know. How long did it take you guys for your baby to hold the bottle? And more so for the people who had a rough time and their baby's a little older because I know there's a lot of people that's gonna say oh my baby started holding about at four months five months this and that well clearly that is not our case 
so that's a blessing for you guys and i'm happy that is y'all case but i'm more so on the people who the baby started to hold the bottle a little bit later and when did they start getting it because i keep doing this and i've been doing this on and off for months and she still gets lazy about it i don't know i thought i should drop in and ask about it because that is not a good angle ask about it because oh see look she got some in her eye look at her face <sighs> Trying to eat my finger. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't eat my finger. You can't eat my finger. No. <laughs> but yeah, what I think I'm gonna start doing is, if she wanna eat, she need to start holding it. I'm not gonna starve her, but. She need to get this together, child. Use a big one, all right? Use a big one, it is time. It's like two hurdles now we're trying to get through. Now she can hold up her head. Even though, like even when it comes to like sitting up and stuff, she's not perfect. Ooh. Oh, hold on, wait, baby problem. So even though she doesn't like quite sit up the best, even though she not a sit up really well, still a little wobbly. She, I don't feel exactly safe for her to sit up and not no one be around because she'll probably like fall over. But the two biggest things is one, her holding her bottle and two, me getting from the back seat because I feel like she's too old for that. I think that's it. I mean, outside of like regular developmental things like crawling, she's already trying to stand and I tried to do a little bit of walking with her today. And she's not close. I try my best to not compare her to other babies because everyone develops at their own rate. Ain't that right? But I definitely do want to get some huge milestones out of the way, which is definitely the biggest one is holding her bottle. But we are about to get ready to go to, uh, where are we going, Target? Oh, Tarjay. So we can see. So we can see, well, him, because he needs new glasses, which he broke. I broke first, then he got it fixed, and then he broke it by doing the same exact thing how I broke it, which is stepping on him. So now we gotta go to Target so he can get him some glasses. But yeah, I need to go take a shower so we can head out. So, we are in this practice trying to find glasses. I kind of like these for every day. Try these. Mm -mm. These frames look small already. Not bad. Gotta push them all the way on. They is all, y'all. Any closer, it'd be touching my eyelash. I think all glasses look good on you. Oh, that's sweet. It just, that don't fit my personality. Got to have the big moment. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Hey, girl. You's a big girl now. She's cozy. She's cozy. What's your name? 
All right, so this is the shopping carts with it all in. She is living her best life. Sorry if it's loud, but I was able to get my phone in here, but squeezing it super, super, super tight. Nala, you cozy? You cozy? But she looks pretty comfortable. This kind of slides up a little bit, but it's all right. And I can put this little safety thing on, which is really loose. But I don't really think she needs it. But she, I kind of like it. It kind of sucks that this don't have the little drape down at the bottom. But it may not be a big deal. But yeah, I like it. This is kind of cushiony. This is cushiony. And she usually don't like sitting up, so the fact that she's comfortable it's pretty good I would say yeah I like it now we're just here I got some pizza hut which is the only pizza I is the only pizza I really don't like but I'm starving so I got the combo which is pepperoni pizza and bread sticks and a drink for $7. So I'm going to try to eat some of this a little bit and then, yeah, make a life decision. Probably walk around a little bit and uh, debate if I want these glasses or not. All right. So we're leaving Target. Yeah. What do we think the verdict is? I like it. She hasn't fussed the whole time. Yeah, she didn't. I just gotta put that touch. Touch lock on the phone. Yeah, the touch lock on the phone. But what would we rate it? Out of oh, I don't five. Know. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. 4.5? Just cause I don't know what I'm comparing it to. You need a comparison to rate something? Uh, yeah. No, that's not true. <laughs> It's whether you think something deserves five stars or not. Well, it's my first time even hearing about it. Just using it, so, but first impression, I'm gonna say 4.5. I wanna give it another 0.5. That's cool, because <laughs> it's hard to give it five for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. She hasn't cried. It's like so odd. I feel like every time we find something nice or whatever, it's like, hard to like believe it or yeah. take it in and one other person in the store had one but theirs didn't look as nice as this one yeah if i could be annoyed with anything uh is i think i mentioned this earlier that if you have a large phone it might be a whole lot of whole lot of to put that in there and it's gonna be a whole lot to take it out mm -hmm. so you probably gotta cut like open up bigger widen but it is velcro Whoop. sorry baby i'm Dang. sorry i didn't know that was a big old dip right there you didn't know that what you thought it was just like a slide it just looked like a regular dip i don't know but you're gonna have to cut open a bigger hole but it does have velcro at the top and you can attach toys to it but we just forgot we forgot the toys yeah so yeah I like it, so we about to get packed up, child. Get in this car. I think tomorrow we might look into my glasses. Yeah. All right, you guys. Peace.